Hello there, my name's Joe. I'd like to do a little video today on uh, this electric bike that I've had for a couple of years. Yeah, this is a Chinese bike, fat tyre, fat wheel bike. It's uh, by a company called Admotor. You can kind of see it down there. Admotor and it's got the name Motan on this bike. This is a bike that I ordered from China off the internet. It came within a month or so in a big box and uh, I unwrapped it, put it together and here it is. And I've ridden it now for quite some time. I've done about a thousand k's on it. That's not bad. It, uh, it isn't a full size bike, it's a 20 inch wheel bike. Uh, and it folds in the middle. There's the folding mechanism there. Uh, it came with a 48 volt battery, 10 amp hour battery, and a 500 watt hub motor, which is not bad. Um, I got it with the fat wheels because I like to do uh, rides out in the bush. I actually got it to take away with me when we go caravanning and that, and you can go exploring with the bike when you're camped. You don't have to take the car. It's uh, quite good fun. I wish that uh, I'd gotten one with a slightly stronger motor. It, uh, it's, it's quite good on the flat, but uh, struggles a bit uphill, and you've got to push like mad, to pedal like mad to get up anywhere. But then it uh, provides me with a bit of exercise. Now, it looks a bit strange with these mud guards on it. It didn't come with mud guards. I actually made these up because I found it kicked up uh, rocks and things. The uh, mud guards are actually made out of uh, a tube from one of those uh, leaf blowers, big leaf blower vacuum thing for the garden, cut in half. The later ones, I noticed, uh, are supplied with uh, properly fitted mud guards. But anyway, they seem to work all right. It's a bit hard to bend them so they're straight. And uh, they do the job. Uh, I carry a pump with me and a lock. Um, the tyres <laughs> puncture very easily, unfortunately. Uh, one trip that I was out and I took it out bush, oh, I got punctures galore, there must have been three corner jacks or something. And they're not so easy to fix, especially the back ones. So I've actually put some liners inside the tyres to kind of assist with the puncture control. It seems to work alright, I haven't had one since, but uh, the liners aren't that thick. And the only other thing I've done is, uh, because the uh, bike has no suspension at all, and you pump your tyres up quite hard, to do your riding. Uh, it's a bit bumpy on the old spine. So I've bought one of these uh, cushioned uh, uh, seat posts. It's got, a, it's, it's got some uh, hydraulic sort of suspension in it and it uh, moves with you as you go over bumps and it helps a bit. Anyway, that's about all I can say about the bike. I've actually put a little rear view mirror on it. Uh, helps riding along the road, you can see behind you. It comes with a uh, little uh, display that shows you kilometres and uh, state of charge and all that sort of stuff. And uh, quite good, it's a pedal assist pass, but it's also got a, uh, and a little throttle here that you can use. I put that little lever on it myself uh, without pedal assist if you want to use it. It's got the option, but I use it mainly in pedal assist. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little ride down one of these trails. I'm in this rather nice scrub here at the moment. This is a national park, and it's got wonderful dirt trails going through it. This is a fairly main one. It's got lots of very minor ones as well that are quite a bit hard to... Uh, to negotiate. They've got fallen logs and stones and rocks and all sorts of things in the way and and they're sometimes quite steep and you've actually got to get off the bike and walk it. But uh, here at the moment I'm starting off on a quite a steep downhill slope and we'll take it from there. Now to get on the bike 
and we'll see if it actually films what I'm doing. Okay, here we go. Might be an idea to put the kickstand up. This is a steep hill going down, going down. Yes, it's still filming at the moment. Yeah, good. All right, here I go. I'm going uphill, a little bit slow. Oh. Top of the hill now, I'm coasting along. Going down again, the track's a bit broken up, a few water channels and when it rains. Okay, we're in a flat section, quite smooth, not too many rocks, it's going great. I'm pedalling away, I can go up into a higher gear now, I don't think I need to go down too low because the rest of this track, this is what I'm intending to go back to my starting point where I filmed the original bike description. I've done about five or six k's at this stage. Came to a spot on that trail that uh, quite interesting. If you look up there, it's quite a high hill. Now that hill actually is a railway bridge, and uh, on top of that hill, the railway line, the train that goes to Melbourne, the overland. And it goes through this park that I'm in. Now, underneath that hill, the trail that I was on continues. I'm not riding it at the moment, as you can see. I'm walking it. It goes over this little bridge, and uh, then it goes to a tunnel. <laughs> now, this tunnel goes under the railway hill. And there's, you can see the light at the other end of it. And uh, you can actually go through that. And the track that I'm on continues on the other side. But I'm not going to go through it. It's a bit hard with the bike. As you can see, it's got the usual graffiti. But, uh, yeah, it's quite interesting. Now, if I'll go back to the bike. This is the other side going over that little bridge again and back up the hill to where I left the bike. <sighs> there we go. Right, continue on my journey. Yeah, the track's a bit rough here. Whoa! There we go. There we go. Yeah, actually uh, went the wrong way then. Uh, on one of the major tracks here. Yeah, well, I'll go down this one. That's all right. They've uh, recently upgraded some of the tracks here. Now this is a steep downhill one. It goes to a creek at the bottom, which can be a bit bumpy. It's got a few speed humps on the way. Woohoo! Oh, Brady Gully track. I'll go down here because this goes to a nice lake. It's another minor track. Going downhill. Hear the old brakes squealing. There we go. Ah, oh, I love this bush riding. Great fun. Oh, speed up. Slow down. Ooh. Uh, 
another speed hump slow us. Ooh, there's a, something interesting. Yeah, I just saw. You get to see a bit of wildlife. Oh, where is it? Where is it? No, there it is. Oh, look at that. It's a beautiful, great big uh, shingleback sleepy lizard. He's hidden in the grass there. I just don't, don't really want to disturb him, but there he is. Oh, there he is. <laughs> beautiful thing. There you go, fella. Come on. There, there he goes. All right, let him go. Leave him alone. Okay, continue on our travels. Oh, one of the joys of going for a ride on me little bike is you come across places like this. Oh, isn't this beautiful? It's a gorgeous day out here at the moment. I mean, you can walk to them, but you can see a lot more when you go riding. You cover a lot more distance. Beautiful lake. We've had a dry season this year, though. The lake's down quite a bit. It's usually, there's an old, old jetty post there. It's usually, the water level's usually up, kind of at least reaching the bottom of those posts. You can see the... You can kind of see the tide marks on there, so you can see how high the water level once was. Check that out. And there's our friendly little waterfowl. So you can see how high the water once was, and there it is there. This lake's full of ducks. It's a terrific wildlife thing. It's full of ducks. There are turtles in here. I can't see any at the moment. But... That's terrific. Look at that. There's a group of friendly little waterfowl ducks. Don't ask what type they are, but uh, they're all quite friendly here. I think they're used to being fed. So they hang around waiting for something. There's a cute little fella over there. Yay. <laughs> Not going to hurt you. It's a beautiful spot. And one of the joys of going for a ride on the electric bike. There it is up there waiting for me.